Hi everybody, this is Judy at Judy in the Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make some delicious homemade baked beans. Now this is not hard to put together at all, so you want to start out by preheating your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and have a rack in the middle of the oven. And then you want to have an oven safe casserole dish. Now I like to do this, I like to take just a tiny bit of olive oil oh maybe about a half a teaspoon and put it in there and just smear it around with it and that will help to keep any of the bean mixture from sticking to the to the sides of the dish you don't have to do that you could use nonstick spray if you want or you could use nothing it's really your choice I just like to do that because it makes it really easy to work with okay so I'm going to take one six ounce can of tomato paste. Okay and to that I'm going to add a cup and a half of vegetable broth and then to that we're adding a teaspoon of dry mustard. If you don't have that you can add a tablespoon of prepared mustard and now I have a tablespoon of dried minced onion. You could use about a fourth of a cup of fresh chopped onion if that's what you prefer. Now I have two tablespoons of molasses that I am adding to the mix here. A fourth of a teaspoon of salt. This is Himalayan pink sea salt. Whatever salt you want is good. And an eighth of a teaspoon of paprika. You can always add more of that if you want to for a little more of a smoky flavor. Also this is a meatless version of baked beans, if you want to add uh, the typical smoky flavor of bacon, you can cook some bacon first and then stir it in, chop it up really well, and stir it in with the beans when we add them. All I want to do here is just combine these ingredients the best I can initially, and then we're going to stir in the beans. All right, this is combined about as good as I'm going to get it. It is liquidy, but that is not a problem because it's going to thicken up as it cooks. Now I'm adding in two 15 ounce cans of great northern beans. You can add whatever white beans you prefer. You could add about three and a half cups of your own cooked white beans if you want. Not a problem. Now I'm going to add this to my prepared casserole dish. I have a lid that fits on this casserole dish just like that. And we're going to put this in the oven in the middle rack and let it bake for about 45 minutes and then we're going to go from there. This has been in the oven for 45 minutes and we can see it's still quite soupy. And that's why I like to take it out at this point and just test it and since it is on the soupy side, I'm going to put it back in for another 15 minutes, which I would do anyway. And at this point, we decide do we leave the lid on or do we take it off. And so since it's still a little soupy, I'm going to leave the lid off, put it back in the oven for another 15 minutes and go from there. All right, our baked beans have baked for another 15 minutes. And yes, you can see they are still soupy, but they have thickened up some. And I can tell you from experience that they will continue to thicken up as they sit a little bit. And maybe even after you uh, chill them down and if you want to reheat them at all. Uh, if you want them to be more dry than that, just two choices. You can take the lid off earlier after maybe 30 minutes of baking time um, or you can allow them to bake a little longer. I think taking the, the lid off at 30 minutes would be a good option. But you do want to test them out each time because it will vary some based on the type of bean that you're using when whether it's canned or freshly cooked. It does make a difference. So it's hard to predict exactly which way we'll go. But for us, this works because it will thicken up and we like them just a little bit saucy. So you decide for yourself how you like them. Well, the recipe is below in the description box. So give this a try sometime and let me know how it works for you. This is Judy at Judy in the Kitchen. Bye for now.